Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's check it out and see what we got for you today. If you like those German classics, but with a little twist from South America, then we're looking at the right video. What we're looking at right now, it's a 19, I'm sorry, a 143 scale, 1964 DKW Fissore. Now, the, the Fissore, it was basically, the DKW Fissore was built in Argentina, manufactured in Argentina under the license. I guess approved by DKW between 1960 and 1970. They had a two-door and a four-door sedan, a three-door uh, sta station wagon. And Fissore, actually this one here, it, it does remind you of, it has the looks of the Audi, of not the Audi, Auto Union or DKW, but this one actually was uh, designed, the Coupe and the Spider, which is this one right here, the Coupe, was designed by Fizore with the basis of the German model. They were very elegant from what they say. I've never seen one in person. They were very elegant and very attractive and obviously has the looks of, of the Ford Thunderbird, which the the uh, Auto Union also had the same looks. This one looks a little shorter from what I'm looking at. A little shorter on the looks. But it's quite attractive. I think the color helps a lot. Those bright colors make the car look even more attractive, to my opinion. And since only a limited amount of coupes were built, and they were highly looked after by the collectors. Some of these models were carried out in Spain. So I guess they got they crossed the, the ocean to the motherland. All right, actually it says here that uh, the sedans, because remember, they also had a sedan and they had um, a station wagon. The sedan, they built about 22,000 of them. Almost until 1969, and then the the combi pickup. They built six thousand of them, a little more than six thousand of them. Remember, DKW Fizore covers a whole section of these cars built in Argentina. They also built Fizore. Um, Designer, I was. Uh, Fisori was. It was a chassis builder that built also in Brazil. It's a little confusing. Don't get me wrong. To me, even it was a bit confusing because I'm not too familiar with the car, but I know they they built these cars in Argentina under this license, under approval by DKW Auto Union. They, this car was based on the coupe they built in Europe, a little smaller, you can see in it. It's a little tricky, not a lie, it's a little tricky on the whole description. But, um, and by the way, the sedan and the combi or the wagon, it looked more like the old school DKW. Remember the 1000? This one is the coupe, it's a different family. <laughs> it's related, but they're different looks. Just so you know and you don't get confused as much as I'm already. <laughs> All right, guys. Engine wise, you had a two, uh, three cylinder 1.0. You also had a. Uh, all of them were 1.0, just some of them a bit more than others with the horsepower. But they were all small engine vehicles. They were more of the look than what the performance. Always remember that. All right, guys. I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right, right back.
All right, guys. So what do you guys think about these cars? Sorry, I couldn't give you a lot of information on it. It's a little confusing for me. So I'm guessing you might be in the same boat. But um, if you look at Wikipedia, I could tell you a little bit better the info on these cars. But um, again, they were built in Argentina based on the German model. But a little touched here and there. Probably engine-wise too. But quite attractive. Quite little cute car. All right, everyone. Take care of yourselves. More than ever, as I always say. And don't forget to comment below what you guys think about these cars. Do you remember them? Have you seen them before? Yeah, let me know. Have you ever seen them before? Maybe you traveled to South America. You were able to see them in person. Or you like me. You're not familiar with it, unfortunately. I wish I knew more. I wish I'd seen them because they look a little smaller compared to the German um, brother or German family member. Let's put it like that. Don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that I always appreciate. Thank you so much uh, for following me. Thank you for commenting below. I appreciate your comments. Let me know where you guys are from, where you guys collect, and stay in touch. And like I said, don't forget to click on subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button that will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Take care of yourselves more than ever, and goodbye.